Hey there, everybody. Thomas Wood with ValueCharts.com. It is Tuesday, April 28th. We're going to take a look at another successful trade from the Futures Trading Room. This was in bonds today. Worked out really well, and this is all based off of uh, the naked trading setups that we're going to be talking about in Naked Trading Part 2, which takes place tomorrow night, April 29th. So, this was a short in bonds. The reason we were looking at short bonds, there was a couple different things. One, we had a short as soon as it broke down below 162 and 22, 30 seconds, that gives us a bear flag. We had weakening momentum, we had a down move followed by a higher low, and then a break of the previous bar's low and a continuation, which is exactly how it was supposed to play out. Worked out really well. And then second time we had a short opportunity was on the trend line break here. And that trend line was at about 162.11, uh, which means we've been shorting at about 09, 162.930 seconds. Worked out really well right now. We're down at 161 and 22. And you can see one of the things we were looking at with this is, all right, we have a trend line break, which is okay by itself. But then we add a filter of, all right, we have a trend line break with bearish momentum. As you can see, momentum had weakened. We had put in lower highs and lower lows of momentum. And when we broke, momentum was surging down to a new low compared to the previous swing low on the indicator line. So now we're going, okay, we have a bearish trend line break, which is good enough normally by itself. But when we add the momentum filter, we have a much higher probability of the trade working out. And we have a higher probability of it getting us in the money very quickly. And you can see this basically broke and then shot straight down before retracing to, let, to retest. So it worked out really well, exactly how it was supposed to. Just another opportunity that we had today in the trading room. We had several good trades. We had the longs in the euro, shorts in the dollar loony that have worked out really well. We've had the shorts and bonds and 10-year note that worked out really well. The longs and gold have worked out really well. And the um, shorts and reversing longs in the indices worked out really well. So just another example of great trades we had. If you want to join us for Naked Trading Part 2, just go to valuecharts.com forward slash Naked Trading 2. You can get the link or you can get signed up for that again. It's tomorrow night, April 29th from 6 to 10, 6 to 9, depending on how many questions we have, and make sure everybody can understand it. We're going to be talking about adding filters to trades to increase probabilities. We're going to be talking about trading candlestick reversals. We'll be talking about psychology and talking about different ways to improve consistency because one of the goals as a trader should be to have a smooth equity curve from lower left to upper right. We'll talk about what we can do to improve our consistency and smooth out that equity curve, make it so that it's just a nice sloping line from lower left to upper right. So that's all I have for you for today. Look forward to seeing you in the workshop tomorrow night. And until next time, happy trading.